Hi, my name is Diego Davis and I'm a Regional Sales and Support Manager for Sontech and YSI. I'm here today at the Fashion Valley USGS Gauging Station in San Diego, California, which is appropriate because today we're going to cover a couple options for upgrading or refurbishing your aging stream gauge station based on budget and reliability. Gauging stations are a crucial piece of infrastructure for the long-term monitoring and accounting of surface water flows. These sites are often located in remote locations and provide end users with reliable real-time data for important decision making. The most practical uses of real-time data include monitoring surface water diversions, building historical trends, and responding to flooding in real time. You need to be confident about these data because they often involve the safety of people and property and have legal implications. To start off, let's talk about a basic setup where all you need is continuous level data and a data logger. Here are a few options to consider. The Amazon Bubbler is a self-contained system that measures water level and logs that data digitally. This is an appropriate option if all you need for your stream gauge is basic level data. It's low power, so it can run off a solar panel and battery. The Amazon Bubbler also has a rugged weather-tight construction for harsh field conditions. The H522 Plus is a data logger with satellite-based GOES transmission. This is our most popular logger and is trusted for its robustness and reliability. The Storm 3 is a data logger with cell modem-based data transmission. Wireless communication and drop-down configuration menus make this device super handy. Water level will change naturally in response to things like precipitation, snow melt, and water management decisions. You can use water level as an important piece of data on its own or as a starting point for calculating discharge. The way to equate a water level value with a discharge value can vary from site to site. Oftentimes, a calibrated structure is already in place, like a flume or a weir. In this case, you can use the water level data from your instrument to calculate discharge. Most measurement sites, natural or man-made, do not have calibrated structures in place. This means that the site must be calibrated in some other way to use water level as an accurate indicator of stream discharge. When it comes to discharge measurement, a favorite tool of hydrologists is the River Surveyor M9 ADCP. The River Surveyor M9 provides a high resolution, highly accurate snapshot of river discharge, combining many of the most advanced acoustic technologies together in one instrument. It can be used from any kind of boat, but it's quick and easy with the custom fit HydroBoard 2. When you take a series of M9 measurements over different water level conditions, you can build a rating and calculate discharge in real time with something like the H522 Plus data logger. Similar to the M9, but for shallow, weightable channels, the Flow Tracker 2 can also be used to gather a series of measurements over different water level conditions to develop ratings. The Flow Tracker 2 is popular for its user friendly, handheld color screen that guides you step by step through the measurement process and ensures you comply with ISO and USGS standards. Whether done with an M9 or a Flow Tracker 2, properly calibrated water level data is often a robust solution for many sites. However, some sites are still more complex, and calibrated water level alone is not good enough. Maybe there are backwater conditions, or the required level of accuracy is real high. In these cases, it's important to measure water level velocity in order to calculate discharge. The Sontec IQ can be mounted to the bottom of the channel and is ideal for open channels with fast changes in water level. It uses an acoustic vertical beam and built-in pressure sensor for redundant depth measurement. The Sontec IQ measures velocity with its upstream, downstream, and side-looking skew beams to expertly handle complex flow conditions. Sometimes, it's preferable to mount a velocity sensor on the side of the channel using a Sontec SL. Although these sensors don't handle changing water levels quite as well, they're great options because they are easy to use when sediment and vegetation might obstruct bottom-mounted sensors. Side lookers do a good job of avoiding sedimentation, and when they do need to be accessed for cleaning or maintenance, it's easy and requires no divers or operational outages. Water level data and discharge data alone are very important parameters, but they're often used in conjunction with water quality parameters. A gauging site can also be equipped with the Exoson to report a wide variety of parameters, such as dissolved oxygen, turbidity, and other TMDLs. The H522 Plus data logger has years of proven performance reporting water quality data as well. 
there you have it. A few options for upgrading your stream gauge station. Of course, we're always happy to talk through the details of your unique application. So feel free to contact us anytime with your questions. Again, I'm Diego Davis and thanks for watching.